Hi guys, welcome back. Oh my god, I've missed you so much. Like, what's up? Okay, let me give you a quick rundown. Okay, so first thing is I've moved to a new place. Okay, and I also graduated college. I'm so excited to be done with. Thank you, Jesus. So it was a big, big transition stage for me. Can a girl burn down? It was a big transition stage for me in the month of May. So I had to pull back just a little bit, but I literally miss you so much. It was so hard. If you follow me on Snapchat, it was even hard. Um, you can follow me at Snapchat at Rose Rosie Rose Chick or Instagram Rose L Kimberly to follow up with me or Twitter. I'll link down below, but I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Today's video is going to be really chill. I'm just going to put on my makeup. I'm going to catch you guys up with some stuff in my life. Um, and it's just going to be really fun. I'm going to go over some of the makeup products I've been using for like the past three, four weeks that have been bomb. Okay, so I hope you're excited to discover some new products and just catch up with me. Maybe get a cup of tea. I was eating some fruit snacks, which I probably should have been eating some watermelon. But you know, it's live. It's summer. Summer bottle or nah, nah. All right, you guys, so the first thing is I'm gonna prime my skin. I'm using this Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. It's really good for those of you who have oily skin or for example, if you have a lot of like large pores, it really helps to downsize it. And I have like large pores and oily skin, so I'm just gonna apply it on the parts of my face first where I get very oily at throughout the day. Also, right on my chin area, around my forehead area, also. If you're wondering, the nail polish I'm wearing is from Essie. This is imported bubbly. Have you guys ever seen that Instagram meme? It's like this guy in the kitchen. He's like, I got that bubbly. I got that bubbly. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I tell people about it and they're like, what are you talking about? But that meme is like my favorite meme of all time. It's so funny. I got that bubbly. I got that bubbly. Alright, so the first thing is I'm going to prime my eyes with this concealer right here. This is the MAC NC45 Studio Finish Concealer. I really like this because it helps to not make my eyeshadow crease like throughout the day, which I'm like, yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to apply this with my hands, all of my eyes. You can also use a brush if you would like, but I'm real, real simple, so I like to use my hand. Or if you're doing makeup on a client, I'd rather you use a brush than your hand. Next is I'm going to set my eyes so it doesn't crease. So I'm going to be using this powder right here from Maybelline. This is a Fit Me powder in 115 if you are wondering. And I'm also going to be using this lovely brush right here from Rose at Nix. This is from a Bold Melds collection and this is in 200. I'm going to dab it on this powder and then use it to set my eyes or set that concealer so it really helps to keep everything intact throughout the day. So the product doesn't get ruined or for example it doesn't go all over the place you just keep it in one place all right so the next eyeshadow we're going to be using is makeup geeks latte i have not worn makeup in like maybe like five days or so before i did like graduation makeup if you guys saw me on snapchat you would know so i'm like ready to slay this face with like some color okay so this is latte from makeup geek i'm going to pack this in the crease of my eyes now the brush i'm going to be using is the morphe or is it morph people always like tell me i'm saying it wrong literally you guys it's just a name i'm gonna say it right one day it's just a name let's let's move on from that <laughs> but this is the 505 brush if you're wondering and we're gonna pack this starting in the crease right there you see i just placed it right in that crease or in the socket of the eye, and then we're just gonna blend it out. Ooh, this color is so beautiful. I missed it. Oh my god, you guys, I missed you so much. I know I said it at the beginning of the video, but I literally missed you so much. It was just so hard, but it was so needed. If you guys have any video requests, make sure you leave it down below. Like, if you wanna see an apartment tour as soon as like I get it ready. If you see, I have the brush, but I have it positioned right here not all the way up here right here just to give it a little bit more handle and a little bit more space and i'm just blending it really softly i'm not doing it really hard just really softly let the brush do all the work you just move your hand back and forth and of course you want to do the other side and i didn't do my eyebrows yet because i'm going to do them after i do my eye makeup girl sometimes it's like oh my hands hurt after blending blending is no joke sometimes like you really have to like it's really a skill, I feel like. 
Then to blend out this color even more, I told you guys I was using drugstore and high-end products because that's the way I roll, okay, with drugstore and high-end. So I'm going to be using this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. The color I'm going to be using is this color right here in the palette. Now, I was looking for Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek, but I couldn't find it anywhere because the move and everything, it's summer in this room, but I just can't find it for some reason. And also, another little dupe to this eyeshadow is MAC Brown Scripts, so yeah. If you have one of those shadows, use that, but I'm going to just dip into this palette. I'm not a really a fan of dipping all over the place, but for today, we're just going to keep it chill, and we're going to dip all over the place, okay? Um, and I'm going to be using that same brush, the Morphe, or Morph, oh gosh, Fabulous Eye Brush. Let's do it. And I'm putting this right on top of that same Latte shadow from Makeup Geek. If you can see, I kind of had the brush pointed a little bit slanted upward. And I'm just doing circular motions to blend this bad boy out. And you want to do the same to the other eye. Alright, so I'm really dipping it and doing it today. So, I'm going to go in with this palette that is from Urban Decay. Now, this is an Urban Decay New York City palette. I believe it came out maybe a year ago. I'm going to dive into this purple right here. Yeah, I'm feeling a purple. Something like beautiful. So I'm going to use this purple right here. I'm going to pack this on the lid area of my eyes. And I'm going to use this brush right here. This is from Urban Decay. These brushes usually come in the Urban Decay Naked palettes, if you're wondering. I love this brush right here, especially this part. It's a two-sided brush, if you're wondering. And this part right here is amazing. I love this mixed mirror, by the way. This brush is amazing to like pack eyeshadows onto the eye. It's beautiful. It makes your life so much easier. So I'm just going to pack this eyeshadow onto the eye. Oh yeah, loving the purple. Next is I'm going to go back into that same Kat Von D palette and using that same brown right here or this like more brown, I'm going to pop this in the crease of my eyes again just to help blend out that purple a little bit more. So right above that purple and this is just going to help to blend it so it looks like it's going into one. Now we're going to need to go back in and pop on a little bit more of this purple because after we blend some of it's going to kind of come off a little bit but that's okay. This liner is from Maybelline. This is the iStudio Lasting Drama 24 Hour Finish Liner. I can also show you guys the packaging too if you're wondering. So this is the liner right here. It's just a purple liner. Uh, we're just doing purple today. That's the color for today's look. So we're going to use this and we're just going to do a simple wing liner. I have a full tutorial on how to do a wing liner. So I will link it down below. But we're going to go through this part a little bit faster than usual. Let's do it. Now for my lashes today, I'm going to be using these Cara Lashes in 43. I love Cara Lashes. And these are like really flirty and fun, but they're not as dramatic because we want the lash or the liner to like really pop. So let's pop these on. Alright guys, so while my lashes are drying, I'm going to move on to foundation. Are you ready? So of course I'm going to use my beauty blender. So I'm going to be using a Neutrogena Nourishing Long Wearing Foundation. And I'm just going to apply this to my skin by using dabbing motions. You know we're ready. Mm, this foundation is like a perfect color for me. If you're wondering, I'm in chestnut. If you have oily skin, I don't know why this beauty blender kind of smells like a cucumber. If you guys have any particular drugstore foundation you want me to try at the drugstore, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Because, like, I have an obsession with foundations. Like, you know how people, like, have obsessions, like, with things, whether it's, like, an eyeshadow, whether it's, like, video games, whether it's shopping. I love me some foundations. Like, that's just one of my favorite things. Like, I love a good skin. Like, oh, I'm obsessed with skin. It's weird. I know. I know. I know. Then for my concealer today, so for this look today, I'm going for like a dewy, glowy, summer look. Okay, so this is the Amazing Concealer, and this is the Illuminate, Illuminate, Illuminating, I think that's what it's trying to say, but it's like really like fancy and like Illuminate, like 
maybe that's like another word you can say it. applies really nicely under the eyes we're just gonna apply this under the eye you already know also right by the chin area Then I'm going to use the pointy side of my beauty blender and just blend it out. And it blends out so flawlessly under the eyes. Now, if you're looking for like a light everyday like foundation, summer foundation, this concealer is amazing. The consistency of it is really light, but then also it's very full coverage or medium to full coverage. And it feels so great onto the skin. It feels like you're, you're nothing like compared to like this concealer that is from Tarte, which feels like it's really heavy and I love it. But it's like a heavy concealer and it's really thick, you know, but I love it. It's amazing also. Just blend it out with your beauty blender. Next is I'm going to take one of my favorite setting spray. Now this is from Maybelline and I'm going to spray this onto my beauty blender. I'm going to use this to set my concealer and then we're going to Set a proof, set a proof. Okay, that's a new word, baby. Um, we're gonna set a proof our concealer um, by applying one more layer. So I'm gonna take that same concealer again, but I'm now I'm just gonna really focus it under the eyes only. Then I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender. And what I like about this concealer, it's like a great color for a lot of people. Then I'm going to go into and use one of my favorite powders. This is the Laura Mercier setting powder, translucent setting powder. I love this powder, guys, but it is so expensive. I wish it was not so expensive. <laughs> I'm going to switch to my Real Techniques Bold Metal Brush um, in 300. My MAC brush is a little bit deformed. <laughs> right now because I think it was like in my bag a weird way so we're gonna switch it up because thank God for other brushes right amen Jesus thank ya all right so we're gonna pop this under the eyes then I'm gonna go in with my Sasha buttercup powder this is gonna bake my skin a little and I'm gonna use this uh, beauty blender I'm gonna pop this under my eyes All right guys, so while everything is baking, you know, I'm gonna go back and fill my brows cause you know they're not done at all yet. So I'm going to use this ColourPop brow color or brow liner and this is a Bang Burnett. That's the color, what a classy name. For real though, well, I really like it. <laughs> and this is how it looks for wondering. And then I'm just gonna also use this brush that is from Real Techniques. This is a 202 brush from the Bold Metals collection. I also have a full brow routine uh, down below, which I will link for you guys. I'm just going to use my brush just to brush it out a little. So there's no harsh lines or anything. I'm also going to go back in with a little bit of concealer, same MAC NC45 concealer. Just to carve it out a little. Next is I'm going to brush away my baking. Or kind of pat it into the skin, I guess you can say. Next is I'm going to contour the skin a little bit. So I'm going to use Scandalous. And this is from Makeup Geek. And this is the one that they're contouring or shaping powders, I believe they're called. And I'm going to use this brush right here from NYX. I love, love this brush. Sculpt those cheek girlfriends. 
See, I love this contour uh, powder from Makeup Geek, but sometimes I feel like it can make me look really muddy, which I don't like. So I'm going to put this down, you know, just put it down and go in with my black radiance to do complexion contour palette because you know it's my favorite so i'm going to use with this color right here which i'm like almost done i have another one but it's somewhere in my room because i can't find it because you know i moved so i literally can't find anything <laughs> and i'm gonna apply this right on the forehead area to add some color there then moving back to the eyes so i'm gonna smoke out my lash line with this shadow right here from the Kat Von D Shading Light Palette, the same one that we used in that crease. And if you're wondering, the brush I'm using is from Real Techniques. It's the 201 brush from the Bold Metals Collection. And I have to open my mouth. If I don't open my mouth, that's me trying to be cute, but it's just easier to go like this. <laughs> then I'm going to apply mascara. This is from Maybelline. This is the Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara. I'm going to apply this to the top and bottom lashes. Then to help the eyes pop even more, I'm going to go back into that New York City palette from Urban Decay. And we're going to go in with Snatch. Okay, we're going to Snatch this look right here. We're going to Snatch that inner corner with this shadow. going to be using Tiramisu from NYX. Alright guys, so this is the final look today. I love this like beautiful purple, some nice glossy lips for uh, summer and like a purple wing liner. Slay girl, slay. I think this look would also look really great with some purple lipstick, like a matte purple lipstick. They ain't ready for us. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I'm so happy and excited to be back with God's grace. And also, one more thing I have to say is, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know what you guys want to see. Leave all your requests down below. I really appreciate it. And just thank you so much, okay? Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and just staying tuned and just being my friend. That means the world, or that means the biggest thing to me ever is it's just being my friend. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. See you guys soon. Bye guys.